CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to do a diagonal spaced puff stitch. So basically it's spaced because there are um, double crochets that you're working around. So um, technically it's almost like a front post uh, puff, um, but it's diagonal and it goes this way. So it looks like it's just flat. It's really beautiful. This makes a beautiful blanket. It makes a beautiful baby blanket. You could use this stitch for anything, okay? So what I'm using is a 5.5 millimeter hook. As you know, um, in most of these stitches like this, uh, you can use any size hook that you want. Just be aware that it'll make it either smaller or bigger, of course. And that includes the yarn that you use. I'm using a regular worsted weight four yarn. This is Hobby Lobby yarn. Um, and I will put it in the description box below. I have a variegated that I'm doing every other row. And then I have just this, uh, this color right here. So it's two colors that I'm using. Of course, you can do uh, anything you want to do. You could do it in all one. Um, and not change colors. You can do anything you want with this pattern. Um, um, you might also need a pair of scissors, but that would only be for the end of your project. If you're just practicing with me, you won't need really any scissors or even a darning needle. But if you are going to actually do a full project, then these are the things you're going to need to work in your ends, okay? So that's what you're going to need today. So let's get into the video. Okay, so this pattern is worked in um, twos. So you're going to do a chain of... Um, two all the way down and um, then we'll come back across okay I'm going to start with my solid color and I'm going to chain 20 one two three four and 20 and then I'm going to go all the way across and just do um, a single crochet so this is just for our base here so we're just going to go all the way down and do a row of single crochets. Now, that means that you will have 19 at the end of this. And I would consider this a beginner-friendly um, project. Of course, if you um, are very new to crochet, then I would ask you to please look in the description box below. I have a, a video for absolute beginners for crochet that teaches you everything. Um, but if you do know the basics, then I would consider this beginner friendly. Okay tighten up that in there and then I'm going to chain three turn my work and then this chain of three counts as my first double crochet it's right over that stitch right there and so then into the very next stitch I'm going to put a double crochet and this is what I'm going to work around right here this double crochet okay so I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to go around this double crochet once, twice, three, and then four times. Okay, so I've got all these loops on my hook. I'm going to go through all these loops except for the last one. You see I pulled up and left this one here. And then I'm going to go through these two to close that puff stitch. Then I'm going to skip a stitch, so I will skip this stitch, and then I will double crochet into the next stitch. Just like that. And now I'll be working around this double crochet. So again, I will yarn over. I will go around this double cro crochet post once, twice, three times, and then one more for four, okay? Now, if you wanted to know exactly how many loops are on your hook, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So technically you would have nine loops on your hook. So you wanna go through eight of those loops. And then when you pull out, leave this one on your hook here because you're gonna go through both of those to close it. Okay, so you're not going through all the loops, everyone but the last one. 
Then you will yarn over, skip your next stitch, and double crochet into the next one. Okay, just like that. And then you will do the same thing again. Yarn over, work around this double crochet. One, two, three, and four. And you're yarning over each time. Then go around all of those, except for the last, this last one on the hook, and then you go through those two. Then you skip a stitch and go into your next stitch and put a double crochet. And then we're gonna be working around this one. So the key to these puffs is to make, making them loose enough where you can work through, um, but not where they look messy, okay? So that all goes down to tension. So when you yarn over, you're gonna keep this loop on your hook, um, and you can fast forward through this if you're familiar with puffs, but if you have difficulties with them, it would really probably help to listen to this. But you want to keep your tension loose on this first loop right here, as well as all the loops that you're doing, okay? So I'm holding my tension with this finger right here. So I'm just keeping it a little bit looser than I normally would. See, when I tighten that, it pulls down on this loop on my hook. But if I leave it loose, I can pull this out. So I'm gonna pull that out just a little bit. I'm gonna yarn over, again, I'm keeping a low tension on this finger. So you might crochet differently than me and you might not use this finger, but however you hold your tension, um, you've gotta be doing it some way. <laughs> so just keep that loose. So yarn over, go around this, pull up your yarn, there you have one. Yarn over, go around your double crochet, pull up your yarn, there's two. And you see how I'm trying to keep them about the same and I'm trying to keep it loose. Pull up, there's three. Again, pull up, there's four. Okay, so it's loose but not too loose. Then you're gonna go through all of those. If you have any trouble pulling through, you might need to go a little bit looser with your loops. Also, you can move your hook like this back and forth to get it through a little bit easier. So I've gone through all the loops except this last one on my hook, and then I'm gonna go through those, okay? Then I'll skip a stitch and double crochet into my next one. And let's do that again. I'm gonna pull up this loop a little bit so at least it loosens my tension. Yarn over, go around, yarn over, go around, yarn over, go around, yarn over, go around. I've got all these loops on my hook. I'm gonna go through all but this last one right here. And then go through there. Skip a stitch, double crochet into the next. One, two, three, four. Skip a stitch, go into the next. And you know, when you're doing this, it can look a little wonky in the beginning. Um, that's okay, the more that you do, it'll lay flatter. If you're having that issue, don't worry about it. One, two, three, and four. Go through all but the last one and pull through. Then skip a stitch, go into your next, put a double crochet, and work another puff. Skip a stitch, go into your next stitch. Another puff. Okay, 
And now we're on our last stitch. So this is exactly what yours should look like. You just did your double crochet, then you worked your puff around it and you have one stitch left. So in this last stitch, and if you turn it on its side, I say this in all my videos, but sometimes it's really hard to see where to end and where to begin with crochet. Turn it on its side and you'll see that little V right there. You definitely wanna work through that V and do a double crochet. Okay, so this is what it looks like right here. So now we're gonna bring in our other color, our variegated yarn, and we're going to just pull it in right here. We're gonna leave our other color attached still because all you're gonna do is pull up on the ends. And this helps you uh, not have to, you know, work in so many ends. Um, if, but if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to. It's however you want, but this is the way I'm gonna show you how to do it, okay? So bring in your yarn just like this, real simple there. And then I tie a little knot in the back, you know, just to make sure it doesn't come undone. And then with this, you know, with this, we're just going to chain one, turn your work. You've got your new color on now. You've still got your old color attached. And now you're just gonna do single crochets all the way down. So right here, your single, your uh, crochets, stitches from where you did the puffs are gonna look a little bit different, but you're just gonna work in each V that you see. So right here on the top of this puff, the V looks bigger. Just work into that. And right here in between, it looks smaller. And then there it looks bigger. And then here it looks smaller. And that's because those are the stitches uh, in between the puffs and then you've got the puffs. So that's why some look bigger than others. Just make sure that you work in each one all along. Make sure that you still have 19 stitches. So now we're on our 19th single crochet. Just make sure you turn that on its side. You can see that we still have a V there. So work in this last one. Okay, and that's what it looks like right there. Okay, so now you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work. So turn your work. And now you're gonna do just like you did for the first row. So you're gonna go into your next available stitch. So not this one where your chain of three is above here, but into your next one, you're going to put a double crochet, okay? And then you're going to work around that double crochet just like we did before. So working around here, you're gonna go around four times. One, two, three, and four. Then you're gonna go through all your loops, but the last one, then you have two loops on your hook, go through those two, skip your next stitch, go into your next one, just like that. And then again, do another puff, go through all but the last two, and you can see here that your single crochets look much bigger than they did before. So that might be a little bit confusing for you. You need to make sure that you're paying attention. You're not wanting to work into this stitch. And this is not the skip, uh, skip stitch because this is where a double crochet is coming from. But if you just look at it, and a lot of times it can be moved over to the side like that, it would look almost like you need to work into this, but you don't need to work into this one. That's where your double crochet is coming from. So you would skip this next one and then go into the next because we've worked into this one. So just make sure that you pay attention to that because our stitches have gotten much bigger than they were in the beginning, okay? And so you would just keep working uh, those same puff stitches all the way down. And then when you got to the end, you would remember do your last double crochet and then you would change colors 
keeping these on here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row real quick and I'm just gonna be silent. I might speed it up a little bit. And then when we get to the end, I wanna show you how to just pull up the colors, which makes it so easy. Okay, so we're on our last stitch. So remember, we put a double crochet here into the last one. And now it's time for us to change color. So we have both of our yarns on here now. We've got the variegated and then we've got the solid color. So all I'm simply going to do is pull up the solid color, color and go through just like this. That's all you're gonna do. Don't pull too loose and don't pull too tight though. So um, some people might have problems with these and that's because they either keep it too loose or they pull it too tight. And this is the key to making this work is to just doing it just right. So let me just show you what it would show you what it would look like. So if I um, pick up this yarn and I yarn over and go through and I do it really tight like this, you see it collapses my work there. So I don't wanna do that, all right? And this is trying to come undone here. So let me do that one more time. And let me show you if you do it too loosely, what it'll look like. So if I do it too loose, then it can spread out like this. And then if you just keep going, this is what it would look like. Okay, so you don't want that. So the key is to just get it just right. So I'm just gonna pull up just enough, just like that. You see a little bit of tension on it. It's laying flat against it. That's what it should look like. You can tighten up this other variegated yarn from the other color if you want to, to keep it tight. Then you would chain one, turn your work, and then just start doing your single crochets like we've been doing for the other rows. Okay, so it's just um, very easy to change colors. That's what you do every time you just pull up your other color. And then when you get done with whatever project you're doing this for, you just do a border around this. And so you can hide these pieces that you've pulled up. So easy, um, not a lot of cutting off and tying in. So this is really a great thing to do. Now, if you have a certain project that you're doing and you don't wanna do a border or either you don't wanna deal with it, you can cut off and work in each row that you go. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this really super simple, easy stitch. Great fun, looks absolutely beautiful. Love the way it lays flat. If you have any questions or comments, of course you can leave them in the comment section below, but you can also find me on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on TikTok. You can find me on Gmail. And all of that is in the description box below. So yeah, if you need anything, just let me know and I'll see you guys soon. Happy crocheting. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.